I've explained in the past why I am quite happy to block people and why I do not think it has anything to do with freedom of speech or censorship. After all, all that a block is, is a refusal to engage with somebody. It does not change the fact that the person you are blocking has a YouTube channel on which they can do whatever they want and, and, and they can express themselves in whatever way they see fit, or at least you should not interfere with that. Then it becomes a freedom of speech issue. But not allowing somebody on your own channel is basically the same as in a conversation turning your back on somebody and walking away. It is a refusal to engage, you've had enough, you're not willing to listen to this idiot anymore, for example. So, I've explained why I don't think it has anything to do with freedom of speech. But, there's another side to this. And this is where I think people should realize that, on top of that realization, they should also realize that trolling can actually be quite an effective way of limiting another person's freedom of speech. Now it's subtle, because the troll leaves open to their victim or the people they're targeting, still gives them that freedom, the freedom of blocking you, for example. The troll doesn't take that away. The troll knows that you could at any point in time simply hit that block button and the conversation would be over. But what they're banking on what a troll is banking on is that you are too afraid to do this. That you are too concerned with being seen as somebody who censors people to actually take that action against them. And if you are, I would ask you to consider this. What happens when a troll comes in and hijacks your video or comment section or whatnot. What happens? First of all, imagine you've had your conversations with other people in your comment section. You've had a bit of dialogue with people. Some people might agree with you, other people might not agree with you. But the dialogue has been friendly and constructive and whatever else. And suddenly this person comes in harping on about a single subject, for example. It happens. You have these people who've got a huge bee in their bonnet about a single issue. And no matter what your video is about, they start talking about what their issue is. Not only do they start talking about it, they keep demanding that you respond to them. They keep on repeating themselves. They keep on responding without addressing things you say, and so on and so forth. And before you know it, they have drowned out every other conversation that was going on before they arrived. Now that is a subtle form of censorship. Because they are banking on you being too reluctant to kick them out. And so they drown everything in verbal diarrhea. And then if you do, of course, take action against them, if you do tell them that the conversation is over, they accuse you of censorship. They accuse you of being closed-minded or unwilling to engage or having lost the debate or any other such bullshit. You see what's going on here? They are playing you by pressing your buttons and banking on the fact that you are that you will be unwilling to take the necessary action against them and so they stop not only your viewers freedom of speech by drowning out anything they might have to say but they even affect your own because as you are embroiled in this pointless hopeless nonsensical debate, as the troll would call it. How much time do you have left to do the things you want to do? To make the videos you want to make, 
to talk about the things that you want to talk about. Because the moment you start doing that, you will get accused of trying to change the subject, for example. Sound familiar? That is the sort of nonsense that a troll plays at. And you are then so afraid of being seen to change a subject or losing the debate or something like that, like that, that you keep allowing yourself to be led down that jolly garden path that the troll is leading you down on. And you are allowing yourself to be stopped from doing the things you want to do on your channel. That, again, is a form of censorship. So yeah, you need to be concerned about censorship. You need to be worried about freedom of speech. They are important things. But remember that your own freedom of speech and that of your other viewers is just as important as that of a troll.